Catfish. Really? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a story time video. I used to tell story time all the time in school and it would just make people laugh, it make me laugh and I just thought something happened like last week which was just really funny to me so I thought hmm, I'm just gonna come out and say it. It doesn't really matter. I don't really care. YOLO. So anyways, last week I got catfished. I cannot believe it. Like literally nobody can catfish a catfish queen like. <laughs> But we leave that story for another week, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> so last week I was on Tinder, and I think everybody's on Tinder these days. I was just go on it sometimes, just to see, you know, <laughs> it's just a little bit of fun, isn't it? So you just go on Tinder like everybody else, and I was just, you know, going through the pictures and whatever and whatnot. And this, is it just me, or when you see somebody you know on Tinder, you like kind of screenshot it just to think like this person's on Tinder, like. But it's so weird because everybody's on Tinder. So anyways, I was on Tinder and I was just swiping left, right, left, right, you know, just doing your thing. <laughs> and I came across some really, really hot guy. I'm not gonna lie, like I can just say somebody's hot if they're hot, like even if it's a girl. This guy was a 10 out of 10. Like I had to give a round of applause, like honestly. And I was just like, whoa. <laughs> I was like, who is this guy? And his name was Elijah and he goes to LSE University and I was thinking well I've never heard of LSE so it must be a good one so um, obviously I was gassed <laughs> when I saw it so I thought even a part second of me was like let me not like it but I just thought let me just like and see what happens and we ended up matching so I was like oh my god and literally when we matched my heart was like beating a little bit and I was like he's just too buff he's <laughs> He's just too nice, he's too hot, like I just can't do it. But anyways, like Toyin was there with me and, she, and I, was, I was showing her, I was like, look at him, he's perfect, literally he's perfect. And she was like, anybody can get a perfect guy, you just have to have confidence in yourself, blah, 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 like, giving me all the prep talk, but I just, I just, you know, when I see a hot guy, I just like look away because it's just too much for me, do you know what I mean? Like. <laughs> So we matched and we started talking and then I was like to Shirley, my best friend, I was like, Shirley, he goes LSE University and then I was like, I think that's a good uni and everything and then Shirley was like, wait, Zoe, do you not know how good LSE University is? And I was like, oh really, like how good is it? She was like, okay, so there's Cambridge, there's Oxford and then there's LSE and I was like, whoa! Guess I'm eating good tonight. Like, if we get married, I'm gonna have good looking babies and I'm gonna be eating good. Like, that's just mad. <laughs> but I'm not a gold digger, like, literally. Like, come on, man. I'm not a gold digger. I really am not. Like, <laughs> but, anyways, that, that was just a plus. You, like, come on. If you if you got with a guy that's like smoking rich, are you telling me that that's not a plus? That's a plus. Like, it's a good thing. But, anyways, so. We kicked off, started talking, and I also told Frida as well, one of my friends, and she was like, oh my gosh, wait, I need to check whether this person is real. So when we were talking, when I was talking with Elijah, he was like, oh, add me on Snapchat. So I thought, so I thought, okay, he's got to be real if he's telling me to add him on Snapchat. Snapchat is like, you take a picture of yourself and boom. You know, you can't really lie with Snapchat, can you? So I just added him and whatnot, and this was over like a couple of days, so it wasn't really like, one day consistently talking like some days we wouldn't talk some days we would talk so i just left it at that and i'm not really that like forward in the beginning when it comes to like relationship stuff so i just like kind of leave it and like i always think if you want to talk to me then you'll talk to me but whatever so um he added me on snapchat and like every now and then when i'd read his story it would just be like his best friend would be in the story and he'll be like oh i'm waiting for elijah elijah takes so long blah 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 and every time I would see Elijah inside the actual Snapchat story, it was a picture and never a video. So that was a bit weird. And I know that there's a Snapchat app, yeah, that you can put like old pictures on your story. So I was like, mm, okay. <laughs> and it didn't really take me too long to clock on what was going on. So um, one day Elijah Snapchatted me and he was like, oh, um, my best friend wants to talk to you. So I was like, really, really? Like, this is getting quite obvious now, like, how can you, if you like someone, you don't really give her out to your friend, do you? Or give him out to your friend, depending on who you are, whatever. Like, you wouldn't really, you would want that person for yourself. So I thought, 
this is definitely not Elijah. That picture isn't the person I'm speaking to. The person that owns this Snapchat is the best friend. And I was like, forget me, the Max. I can do this in one week. Like, what the heck? I, I've got you. You're a catfish. So I just thought, mm, okay, let's play along. I was, I was like, okay, well, yeah, give him my Snapchat. We can talk. And then, so then he was like, okay, well, um, I'm gonna add you now and I was like okay acting like I was all happy and whatnot but I knew exactly what was going on and the best friend wasn't even that bad looking so I don't even understand why you would catfish if you're actually not even bad looking but whatever <laughs> so then I thought okay F this this is just taking too long let me just ask him and see if he's gonna respond see if he'll own up and apologize for what he's done because actually it's lying and it's not really nice but anyways, so I just thought, let me just be brave and let me ask him if, you know, he's catfishing me. So I was like, you're a catfish, aren't you? <laughs> and then I just left the phone, I put the phone down, I was watching Big Brother, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna wait for a reply, see what he says. And then six minutes goes by and I go on my phone, I'm like, mm, let me check. He's opened it six minutes ago. So I was like, Okay, let me talk back. I was like, it's okay, you're a catfish, aren't you? I tried to send the message and oh my goodness, this guy had fully blocked me, deleted me, whatever. I could not send anything. So I was like, oh my God. Like Frida, I told Frida straight away. I told Shirley straight away. I was like, I cannot believe this guy has actually put on a story that he's always been waiting for Elijah and whatever. So that means he's got other girls on this Snapchat that he's lying to. Wow. This is crazy. Am I the only one who's actually caught this? Because back in the day, I used to catch people like that. <laughs> but yeah, so I was like, oh my God. I told my friends, we were laughing. I could not believe it. So all I'm saying today is guys, just you need to be careful on social media. You need to know who you're talking to because it's getting too easy these days. But thank God for Catfish Show because you can find out who a person really is before actually falling in love because I was thinking like aren't you supposed to make me fall in love with you before I find out who you really are <laughs> like <laughs> that's what I'm saying guys stay safe be careful who you talk to on social media because it's just it's crazy out here it's hard out here for a b for a girl <laughs> and you just have to you know not be crazy so like there could be serious killers out here and you have to be really, really observant of who you let into your life. So this is just a device, but it can open doors to a lot of crazy people. Like seriously. <laughs> okay, so that's all I have for this video today. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for my next video. And what else have I got to say? If you see Elijah on Tinder, swipe left.